Hi, my name is Mateusz Miketyshyn uh, and I'm speaking to you from one of the most beautiful castles in Europe. It's a castle Książ in Wałbrzych, Poland. Uh, this uh, short video is uh, directed to our friends and partners in Cape Breton, Canada, Wałbrzych twin town on the other side of the world, but also for all the English speakers, speaking viewers who would like to uh, learn how to navigate uh, our online exhibition, uh, online virtual tour Castle Książ in Technicolor. Uh, the website is uh, in Polish, uh, so unfortunately uh, you cannot uh, read it without Google Translate or if you are a descendant of Polish people or of, cor of course a Polish person living abroad, uh, you can uh, learn uh, about our website in our native tongue. Uh, but this short video will help to understand uh, how to navigate the website uh, in English. Uh, we will start, of course, with uh, typing uh, an address uh, technicolorze.ksias.walbrzych.pl You could see this address uh, right in here. Uh, and it will take us uh, to the introduction to the exhibition with uh, Mrs. Anna Żabska, uh, president of Castle Książ uh, in Wałbrzych, uh, and myself as a, a curator of the exhibition, but also a president of Princess Daisy von Ples uh, Foundation. It's an NGO organization uh, that uh, focuses mainly on cultural activities. Uh, in Polish, we can see a caption here, Uruchom Prezentację, it means start presentation. So if we will click on that button, it will take us to 3D panorama of Castle Książ. For those who are not aware where we are, I will just say that it is Lower Silesia, southwest of Poland, Central Europe. Castle was built at the beginning of 13th century by Prince Bolko I, strong from the Piast Polish royal dynasty, and for over 400 years it was owned and extended by Hochberg family. Uh, since 1850, Hochberg von Ples, uh, princely family. Uh, so we will travel in time. We will move to the times of famous Princess Daisy of Ples, her husband. Prince Hans Heinrich XV and their three sons, Hans Heinrich XVII, Alexander and Bolko. Uh, we have two options uh, how to visit a castle. We can choose panorama or photographie. Uh, it depends uh, which way of visiting castle we pick. Uh, for example, if we choose photographs, our exhibition is divided into 24 different castle spaces. Uh, first of them is castle and uh, his inhabitants. The second entry to the castle. The third, it is an old dining room, breakfast room. Fourth, the portrait salon. Uh, five, Maximilian Saal. Uh, six, golden salon. Seven, Goblin Salon, 8 Italian Salon, 9 the entry to the Kummersal in German, so Sala Krzywa in Polish and Curved Room in English. It's one of the oldest spaces in the castle. Uh, but this, I, this space is the ideas in which we present uh, this travel in time is more, it's 24. We will pick, for example, Maximilian Sal. Uh, it's the most beautiful and the most ornate room in the whole castle. Uh, Maximilian Saal was built in the 18th century uh, by Konrad Ernst Maximilian von Hochberg and it's named after him. It's one of the most beautiful examples of Silesian Baroque and Silesian Baroque itself it's a variation of a Viennese Baroque. So here we can see uh, how this room looked at the beginning of 20th century in the beautiful Belle Epoque times where uh, Princess Daisy, an English lady from the highest circles of English society, uh, moved here to Silesia and uh, became famous not only as a uh, hostess and lady on the castle, but humanitarian who took care for local people. If we turn the yellow arrow here, we will move to another space. 
but we also have a white arrows and this click allowed us to see the same space in 2020. So basically we travel in time and we see effects of colorization. Photographs that we present on this exhibition, uh, they undergo the process of uh, professional colorization and the artist who was responsible for this task uh, was one of the best specialists on this field uh, in Poland, Mr. Mirosław Sponar, uh, who was responsible for colorizing uh, pictures that came to us also from Canada. And uh, I'm very happy that I can share uh, this uh, with you right now. Uh, exhibition Castle Książ in Technicolor, but uh, many other exhibitions in the castles and publications, they wouldn't be possible if it wouldn't be for one man that worked here at the beginning of 20th century. And Canadian Link. Before I will get to the Canadian Link, uh, I will tell you about Mr. Monsieur Louis Ardouin. Uh, it was a French cook, gourmet chef who worked for Hochberg family uh, since 1909 until 1932. Uh, he came here from London with his wife and children, and he was not only very talented gourmet cook, but also not less talented amateur photographer. And he left incredible collection for over 1,000 photographs uh, showing Castle Książ, uh, people that lived here, uh, princely family, servants, Arduin family uh, at the beginning of 20th century. Incredible source of information that survived, but not in Germany, not in Poland. Uh, it survived in one Canadian basement. Uh, it survived uh, with Mrs. Jean Wessel, granddaughter of Monsieur Arduin. Uh, she lived in Burlington, near Toronto, and she was kind enough to share the whole collection of the photograph uh, with us uh, as a digital copies. Uh, and uh, she came for the opening of the exhibition. We published an album in three languages, in Polish, German and English. So the story uh, of Monsieur Louis Ardouin and what he did for Castle Książ was saved and commemorated uh, for the next generations. Uh, but we can also move to panoramas because this will allow us to see the castle uh, from many different perspectives. Also buildings that are associated to the whole complex uh, and different sites. So these flashing uh, dots, points in yellow, they tell us, they suggest that we should click on them and if we do, we can see the castle from the southern, most famous perspective. Or if we move to another side, we can see castle from the west with a very, very beautiful elevation with two towers. Uh, castle Książ was changing over the years uh, it's an uh, enlarging project, uh, happened in the 17, 18, but also in the early 20th century. Uh, but it's not the whole complex. Uh, if we check photographs again, we can see that there are other sites in the park and in the nearest area of the castle that they are closely related with its history. Uh, we can see Hochberg family mausoleum, but also favorite retreat, uh, forest cottage of Princess Daisy uh, in nearby forest, Polsnitz forest, called Ma Fantasy. If you will click on the arrow here, you can check another pictures that shows the same space, but from the different angles or, or with different details. Uh, for Polish-speaking uh, viewers and visitors of our online exhibition, we have an audio version. Uh, you can click play here and listen to the description of every space and every picture in Polish. 
Uh, I hope you will stay with us because uh, exhibition Castle of Książ in Technicolor is a feast for your eyes. Uh, maybe some of the terms in Polish will be uh, complicated to navigate, but I'm sure that you will uh, use your intuition and website is uh, easy enough uh, that can be uh, presented uh, in uh, your own comfort of your home and we believe that this exhibition, this online tour will inspire you to visit Castle Książ in Wałbrzych uh, and our beautiful city of Wałbrzych, our great country of Poland. Uh, thank you so much for being with us uh, and I hope that you will come to see us soon. Bye-bye.